our labour-controlled councils are helping to create jobs, wealth and tackle inequalities. So we're in the birthplace of Harold Wilson in Huddersfield and I'd like to introduce the the first thing we will do as an incoming Labour government for winning 2015 is to take the money that is available and to distribute it on a fairer basis. That is a place that I can give to you and it's one that I readily make. Because there cannot be any justification this year for West Oxfordshire, which is David Cameron's local authority, seeing an increase in its funding per head of population of 3.1%. And many authorities in our region facing cuts of up to 8% in funding per head of population. And what's coming in 2015-16 is a result of the Conference Spending Review, and we'll find out more in a couple of weeks' time. We're not just the Leeds City region, we've now created the West Yorkshire Combined Authority, along with York and James is here from York as well. And how those changes structurally, and how that change in emphasis as leaders of place is something that we need to develop further and better because if we are going to be in terms of austerity under a Labour government certainly to start with, the question is how can we work together more effectively to deliver more? A fair funding system, all the things we aspire to do, we simply won't be able to do. Be careful with localism because on the one hand it's great, it's empowering people, it's engaging communities, it's getting a better result for the things that we do. On the other hand, it's the survival of the fittest. And the Tory review of localism is the survival of the fittest. And this issue that you can run and raise your own money locally is great if you live in London, West London. It's not so great if you live in Hull or Barnsley because we can't raise the money to meet our local needs. And it has to be underpinned by equalisation in the system. The Tories don't want that, they're getting rid of it. We took more voter IDs, there's more phone calls made, but some times my sister called me and said, have three phone calls. <laughs> and I said, did you tell them that my sister should... No, I wasn't going to tell them that. Of course you know you're going to get my vote. <laughs> but what it tells me is we've got it right. We was actually pursuing every avenue that we could in order to win this. So it was about being organised getting out there, getting the vote ID, because on election day we was out there until 8.30, 9 o'clock that night, getting the last votes out.